How's it going my bakers? Hope you're on a great day. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are comparing some most commonly used steaming methods for home baking. So let's go to the kitchen and check them out. Steam plays a very important part in bread making. It prevents the crust of the bread from drying out too soon and that makes it expand and rise better. It makes the crust more thin and crispy and it can give it a beautiful shine. And a cast iron pot with a lid is perfect for this. The lid prevents the steam from escaping and the heavy cast iron walls radiate heat really well. The conditions inside this pot as the bread is baking are very similar to the conditions inside a commercial bread oven. Now this thing is not cheap, but it is extremely durable and will outlast you, that's for sure. So it's a great investment. The only downside of this pan is its size and shape. What I'm saying is you wouldn't be able to bake a baguette in this. But still, I find this to be an essential part of my bread baking kit. And if you can afford one, you should definitely get it. If you can't afford one, and if you don't have one, I still have five more options for you. Now a lot of people might not have a full pan and a lid, but some people may have a cast iron pan, just like this. This is also a great way of creating steam in your oven. You simply preheat the pan along with the oven and then pour half a cup of boiling water into it. This will create a huge cloud of steam. And even though steam escapes quite easily from a domestic oven, the water in the pan will still keep evaporating and steaming for a while and keeping the oven chamber moist. If you don't own a heavy cast iron pan, then a regular baking tray could be used the same way. And if you're watching my channel, then you definitely have one of these at home. It will of course not be as effective as a cast iron skillet, but some steam is better than no steam. And option number four is an upturned metal bowl. The idea of this is the same as the cast iron pot with the lid. You cover your loaf with the bowl and it traps steam inside. And this could be used together with a cast iron skillet if you have one. Baking on a solid and heavy base is always good. It makes the bread rise a lot better. There will be a video about baking surfaces too. Here's another great option, a spray bottle with water. It's definitely one of my favorites. And the way it works is that first you spray your loaf before it goes in the oven to moisten the crust. Once you place the loaf in the oven, you spray the chamber of the oven too. I have heard people say that spraying the loaf directly can result in a thicker crust, but I've never experienced this. I think the water spray bottle is one of the best ways to steam your bread. Okay, and finally, ice cubes. You can throw them in in a preheated pan or just throw them in your oven. The idea is that they melt slowly. They turn into water, the water turns into steam. I think this is quite a commonly used method. Quite a lot of people have told me that they use ice cubes. The problem with them is that they cool down the surface that they are laying on. So they don't create a very big cloud of steam as they melt. Okay, let's get to work now. We got six breads to bake. I'll start with the cast iron pot with the lid. For it to work, it needs to be preheated along with the oven. If you place your bread in a cold pot, it will not bake very well. My oven is set to 220 degrees Celsius, that's 430 Fahrenheit. Now I'll score the bread, I'll cover it with a lid and I'll pop it in the oven. The lid must come off about halfway through or towards the end of the bake. As you can see, it steamed up the camera when I removed it. Now the bread goes back in to finish off the crust. It becomes nicely browned and crispy. This is ready and it's looking pretty good. Right next up, we'll test out the cast iron skillet with boiling water method. Again, the skillet needs to be preheated together with the oven. And I'm going to use my baking steel as the surface for baking this bread on. Now a quick note on safety here. You should definitely use some oven gloves and ideally wear something with long sleeves. Because as you pour the boiling water into the pan, it will create a huge cloud of steam. Trust me, it might catch you by surprise. I don't want you to scold yourself. Now here's how it works. You place your loaf in the oven, pull the pan out and pour in the boiling water and try not to get any water on the glass of your oven door because it may just shatter. That was a pretty big cloud of steam, right? I like to use about half a cup of boiling water. It evaporates in the first 10 minutes of baking. That way we don't need to remove the pan from the oven or even vent the steam out by opening the door. Here's our bread, looking pretty good. Since the cast iron pan is still in the oven and still nice and hot, let's try out the ice cubes and it works exactly the same as with the boiling water. Score the loaf, place it in the oven, pull the pan out, chuck in a few ice cubes. One ice cube is about 20 grams of water, so I decided to use five to match the amount of boiling water that I would be normally using. And clearly this time, there was no great big cloud of steam. And actually after the bread was done baking, there was still water in the pan, meaning that it had not evaporated. As I mentioned earlier, the ice cubes cool down the surface that you place them on. So for me, this is not a very effective method, but the bread looks still good. Next up, we'll try out the metal bowl. I had never used this method before, and I thought that because it's quite light and thin, it would heat up real quick. 
And that is why I did not preheat the bowl. Also, handling a round bowl like this, which is also hot, would not be the smartest thing to do. But I also think that is why this method didn't work that well. The air underneath the bowl was not very hot. And a thin metal bowl like this does not radiate the heat very well. So the loaf fell flat. While there may have been steam underneath that bowl, the temperature was not high enough. So instead of rising upwards, the loaf just spread out sideways. This was definitely a fail, so let's move on to the next method, which is the regular baking tray with boiling water. The problem with this is similar to the problem with the metal bowl. They are both very light and thin, so they don't hold the heat very well. So as soon as you pour boiling water in this tray, the temperature of the tray drops down to the temperature of the boiling water, which is just around 100 degrees. And as you can see, it did not create a very big cloud of steam. And even after baking, there was still some water in the tray. So I would call this not a very effective method. But of course, if you don't have any other choice, this is better than nothing. Okay, last but not least, the water spray bottle. This is extremely affordable, and in my opinion, one of the most effective methods. Using this for steaming, and a baking steel as a heavy surface to bake your bread on, is the perfect combination. You spray the whole surface of the loaf before it goes in the oven, then you slide it in the oven, and spray even more water inside the oven. The crust will stay moist for quite a while. And even if it dries out, within the first 5-8 to eight minutes, you can still come back, open the oven door, and spray some more water inside to re-moisten the bread. This is also a very safe method, because you can't really scald yourself. Another good thing about the spray bottle is that you can use it alongside any other method. Right, that's the last loaf out of the oven. Let's compare these bad boys. And of course, I don't want you to judge these loaves by their looks. The logistics of baking six breads in a row and filming a video about them are quite complicated, so wonky results are to be expected. The breads are still in the same order. From left to right, first, we have the cast iron pan with a lid, second, is a cast iron skillet with boiling water, third, cast iron skillet with ice cubes, fourth, is the upturned metal bowl, number five, is regular baking tray with boiling water, and number six, is the water spray bottle. The crispiest crust and the best color, in my opinion, were achieved by the cast iron pot with the lid, the cast iron pan with boiling water and the water spray bottle. If you own a cast iron pan with a lid, then definitely use that, that's your number one option. If you only have a cast iron skillet, then I would suggest using that as a surface for baking on and then using the spray bottle for moistening the loaf. If you have a cast iron skillet and a baking steel like the one I used, then you could even bake your bread on the steel use the cast iron pan for creating the cloud of steam and use the water spray bottle for moistening the loaf before it goes in the oven. I think that combination would work perfectly. But at the end of the day, use what you have. There's always a way. And like I said earlier, some steam is better than no steam. But if you can afford it, you should definitely invest in some equipment. It really helps and it will last a long time. So what's your preferred steaming method and which one do you think is most effective? Let me know down in the comments. If you want to see more videos like this one, click over here. Subscribe to the channel, click right here. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.